going on everyone welcome rabbit here and today we're taking a look at the ryzen 9 7900x on ghost rider so if you're unfamiliar with the ghost rider algorithm i'm sure most of you if you're cpu mining know what that is but that is what raptorium and there's a lot of coins out there i can't even remember them all at the top of my head but there's a lot of coins that use gr you may hear of it just gr but that's the ghost rider algorithm now the funny thing with this algorithm is there's 20 mini algorithms within the main one so it's constantly switching every couple minutes so you're actually going to get 20 different hash rates 20 different power consumptions as well your ram does not matter it doesn't matter with your cpu there the epics we did notice that it actually did help with full sticks of ram but everything else you only need one stick of ram and it will help with power consumptions now if you did see my build video and my zephyr testing video you would notice if you have multiple rigs you're going to tweak that up for random x which is what this is tweaked for two sticks of ram and let it ride unless you only have maybe one or two rigs then you might tweak for each individual algorithm because then you don't really have to worry about it but myself i tweak for random x so we're only going with the two stick hash rates and everything here and it's going to be the same hash rates even if you removed one stick and just ran one now as for the power consumption we just said there's 20 different mini algos so that's 20 different power consumption as well but right now we can see that i'm currently rocking about 113 watts so i did see a low of around 108 and i did see it peak upwards of 135 depending on the rotation but the majority of the time it was sitting around that 115 to 117 watt range but you do have to keep in mind there is those couple algos that do hit every once in a while and they are much higher in power so if you're trying to tweak out and maximize your power you are going to have to build for the high range and then just keep that in mind now you might lose about five watts or something only running one stick but that's it so let's take a look at the hash rates now and see what the 24 hour hash rate is because you can't just turn it on because as i mentioned 20 algos means 20 different hash rates 20 different power consumption 20 different everything you do have to go with a 24 hour average hash rate to actually see what your hash rate is all right so here i am over on viper.net spec mining some coin that doesn't even have an exchange so no idea how it's going to work but the point is this is on ghost rider so the hash rate is going to apply here and we can see the 24 hour average hash rate on this rig is 4.47 kilohash which is pretty darn good considering i believe the 3900x's were around 3.4 to 3.6 and stuff so we're almost a full kilohash here on the average now let's just jump into the cpu mining calculator to see what that kind of looks like so we're going to go into here and we're going to go for what was that again just go back here uh 4.47 kilo hash so 4470 so 4470 hashes we're going to go with about 115 watts remember it does peak upwards of 135 watts or so but it only lasts a couple minutes and then it swaps algos and comes back down so we're going with 115 watts i'm going to calculate our profitability and let's see what things are looking like so obviously zeph is still rocking the first place spot here but we're scrolling down to the first gr coin we can see reaction here at 11 cent per kilowatt hour is a dollar 63 after power a dollar 94 or if you had free power and a lot cheaper power than 11 cents uh, vars chain here we got a dollar 32 after power a dollar 62 if you had free power we got game pro x here at a dollar 25 after power a dollar 56 on free power here uh this coin here is having some issues we got f society we can see 99 cents after power a dollar 29 on free power so things are looking like the gr category on that algorithm with all these various coins are pretty decent in profitability right now obviously zephyr is still rocking the lead as being the most profitable coin on a cpu mining rig all right guys so there we have it very fast video it doesn't take much to figure out what the hash rates are but you do have to wait at least least 24 hours to actually see the numbers now again we can drop a little bit of power there running only one stick but because i have over 33 cpus or so i keep everything tweaked for random x that way i can swap to any coin and not have to worry about rigs going down so thank you for checking out this video guys i will see you on the next one rabbit out